I think um, that for us to advance science, it needs to be interdisciplinary. I work in the environmental field. It has connections with biology, with chemistry, uh, with environmental studies, with policy. But in order to understand or um, apply different approaches for treatment or for enhancing renewable materials, you really need to work with other people that understand those fundamental fields a lot better than you do. So I'm the chemist on the team. So I try to design the molecules that are going to be uh, doing the tasks and I also look at the chemical aspects of the problems we're trying to solve. I do life cycle assessment work. We're looking at new products that are coming from algae. Are they going to actually be greener than the products they're replacing? Are they going to do the work that needs to be done? Uh, are they going to cause other problems? I bring expertise in polymer science and having those three people as teammates and collaborators allows me to work in areas that I would not be working in if I was just working by myself. We've developed ways of converting algae into fuels. We've developed things like uh, greener paints. We've made all sorts of products for purifying wastewater. You learn more about your own field when you're exposed to other fields. It's been a magnificent collaboration actually. Very creative, very innovative. I hope we're, we're setting a bit of a path for our colleagues here at Queen's and our colleagues across the country. I hope that there's more opportunities like this.